Baking Buddies. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, aprons. And baking hats. Let's be bakers. Yeah, we can bake a cake for the Squirrel Princess's birthday. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate set out for the royal kitchen. They were so excited to make the Squirrel Princess the best birthday cake she'd ever had. All right, let's get started. Now, where is that royal recipe book? <coughs> Thanks, royal helpers. Come on, Kate. Let's pick out a yummy cake to bake. Hmm. Banana bark cake. Nah, too chewy. Twigberry upside down cake. Eh, uh, too crunchy. How about this one? Lemon duck cake. <coughs> Oops, sorry. I got it. Amazing acorn layer cake. The princess will love that. So what do we do? The directions are right here. First, we need to gather the ingredients. Well, that was easy. Okay, put three cups of flour in a bowl. Got it. One, two, three. Perfect. Next, add one cup of milk. I'll do it. I love milk. I love milk, too. Now, Two cups of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. Right, two cups of salt. No, I said two teaspoons of salt. That's way too much. Oops, don't worry. We'll just add more sugar. Perfect. Next, two cups of nuts. Nuts, yuck. Let's use fish instead. Great idea. Okay, royal helpers, bake for 10 minutes. Kid and Kate could hardly wait till their creation was ready. Yay, it's ready, woohoo! I bet the princess has never seen a cake like ours before. <laughs> but the cake didn't come out quite the way they expected. That isn't a cake, it's a rock. Mm, but maybe it tastes good. <laughs> oh no, we ruined the princess's birthday. And then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kitties? We tried to bake this cake for the princess, but it came out horribly. Strange, I don't see any fish here in this recipe. Well, that was our idea. Your idea? But if you wanted to make this cake, why didn't you follow the directions? Because we were having so much fun just doing it our own way. But it doesn't seem like you're having fun now. Of course not. We've ruined the cake. And the princess's birthday. Now I understand. It might not always be as much fun just to do what the directions say. But you'll be a whole lot happier when things come out the way you wanted them to. Now that sounds like a recipe for success. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate, let's try again. Yeah, but this time let's do it just like the recipe says. Now we know, so back we go. Kate and Kate started their baking adventure all over again. But this time... One cup of milk. And no more. They followed the directions exactly. Just two teaspoons of salt. And when the cake was done... It's beautiful! Now the candles. One, two, three, four! The Royal Princess! Is that my cake? Yes, it is. We hope you like it, Your Highness. Like it? I love it! This is going to be my best birthday party ever! I hope you'll come! Really? We'd love to! And that was the beginning of a sweet friendship. <laughs> <laughs> now we're cooking! What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box! Look, Kit! 
pots and pans. We can be cooks in a fancy restaurant. Not a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurant. Woofies! Go, Katie Katie's, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight into the legendary kitchen of Woofies. Bonjour, kittens! Right on time. Great! Let's start cooking. No, I have something much more important for you. Voila! Wash these dirty dishes. Huh? My robot will teach you. Can I count on you to get all these dishes clean? Yes, Woofy. Robot, teach them how to clean the dishes. Wow, he's good. Why do we need to learn this? Yeah, the robot's doing fine. Robot, clean more dishes. Great idea, Kate. We'll just wait here and put the clean dishes up on the shelf when they come out. I need more dishes before my food gets cold. More dishes coming right up. Good work, kittens. Keep them coming. Yeah, good work, Mr. Robot. Clean more dishes, please. Where are clean dishes? I need dishes now! Mr. Robot, don't stop! Do the dishes! It ran out of power, Kate. We gotta do something. Kittens, my food is getting cold. What do we do? I think first you rinse them. Ugh. Yuck! Just put them in the way they are. Is everything okay in there? Clean plate's coming right up. What do we do now? I think we put in soap. Is this enough? Put in more, just in case. Kittens, the customers are leaving. Just one more minute. Kit, I think we put in too much soap. What have you done? This is a disaster. My dinner. Oh. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Wow. What happened? We promised to wash the dishes, but we did it all wrong. And ruined Woofy's dinner. How come you did it all wrong? Because we never learned how. You mean no one taught you? Well, Woofy wanted us to learn from the robot. But he was so good at washing, we thought we didn't need to learn. We didn't know he'd run out of power. Maybe that's why Woofy wanted you to learn, in case something happened to the robot. Now I understand. If you always let someone else do something for you, you won't be able to do it when you have to do it yourself. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll learn how to wash those dishes all by ourselves. Yeah, like big kitties. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their restaurant adventure all over again. But this time, the kittens made sure to learn how to wash the dishes just like Woofy wanted. Like that, right? I got it. Just two drops of soap. And after the robot ran out of power, Kid and Kate finished the job all by themselves, just like big kitties. Come on, Kate. We know what to do. Well done, kittens. Dinner was perfect. Now it's time to make the desserts. Would you like to learn how? Yeah! Now we're cooking! Just desserts. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate. A watering can and straw hats. We can be dessert farmers. Yeah! And grow cookies. Sweet! Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the general store. Hi, do you sell seeds? We want to grow some desserts. Let me guess, you're hoping to win that blue ribbon today for best dessert in the county fair? I guess we are now. 
Well, I've got blueberry flambe trees, zesty cupcake bushes, lemon tart plants. How about some good old chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, we're old school. I'll make the holes, and you drop the seeds. Then I'll cover, and you water. Right. You poke, I'll plop. You squish, I'll splash. Great! Let's collect them. I'll carry the basket and you put them in. Sure! Let's go! We're gonna win that blue ribbon for sure! Yeah! Oops! Dropped one. I'd hate to see it go to waste. Hey! No fair! I want to taste one too. Mmm! We got the winning cookies! We got the winning... Oh! What's wrong, Kit? Tell me, Ake. I'll be right back. Are you all right, Kit? Ugh! Oh, my stomach. <sighs> Hurry up, Kit. I gotta get in there. What happened to us, Kate? It must be the cookies we ate. You're right. We better dump them. So much for winning that contest. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kittens? It seems you're not feeling well. Terrible is more like it. Oh. We threw chocolate chip cookies, but they made our tummies hurt. Why? Did you eat too many of them? No, I only ate one. Me too. Ugh. Strange. I've never heard of anyone getting a stomach ache from just one cookie. Are you sure you didn't eat something else? No. Hey, what is that on your paws? Dirt. I had to dig the holes. Oh, some of the dirt from my paws got on the cookie I ate, and that's what made me sick. But my hands weren't dirty. Wait, but your cookie fell on the ground, remember? Oh. Now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you have to wash your hands before you eat. And never eat food that fell on the ground. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. And this time, we'll make sure no dirt gets into our tummies. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their farming adventure all over again. But this time, they were careful not to eat anything that could be dirty and make them sick. Better throw that cookie away, Kit. We don't want anyone to get sick from it. Good idea. And let's go wash our hands so we can give our cookies a taste. They're all clean. Now it's your turn, Kit. Thanks, Kate. Now all the dirt is gone. Mm, delicious! And this year's winner for best dessert goes to Kit and Kate! I sure hope the judge washed his hands. Oh, oh, excuse me. I guess he did it. Me oh my blueberry pie. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, sailor hats. We can play sailors. Yeah, we'll sail to Blueberry Pie Island. Yay! I love Blueberry Pie more than anything in the whole world. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's, let's go. go! Me oh my! Blueberry Pie! Me oh my! Blueberry Pie! Kit and Kate were so excited to go to Blueberry Pie Island that they could already smell the pies waiting for them. I can smell the pies! The boat to Blueberry Pie Island leaves when the time is three bells. Don't be late. Three bells. The first bell, Kate. Let's hurry. But Kate forgot all about pies after she spotted a pretty butterfly. He looks like you, Kate. Ha ha. Not now, Kate. We'll miss the boat. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Me oh my. Blueberry Pie. Me oh my. Blueberry Pie. Me oh my. 
Kate? Now where had Kate gone? One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three! Kate! You can't catch me, Kate! <laughs> Hold still! <laughs> two bells? Hurry, Kate, we'll miss the boat! Right, sorry! Bye, ducks! Kid and Kate got back on the path, and the smell of blueberry pies grew even stronger. Me oh my! Blueberry pie! Me oh my! Blueberry pie! Me oh my! Kate? Kate was missing again. <sighs> hey, Kit, look what I can make. A hula skirt. Kate? Now I'm a big brown bear. Grr. <sighs> I'm the oldest man in the world. <laughs> Come on and play, Kit. Kate will miss the bone. Huh? I have the oldest ears in the world. I can't hear ya. <laughs> That's three bells. Come on. All aboard. Uh, uh. <laughs> Kit and Kate finally made it to the dock. But it was too late. Sorry, kids. Have to leave with three bells. Oh, no. It's not fair. <laughs> then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, young lady? I want to go to Blueberry Pie Island, but we're too late. Why are you late? Because on the way here, there were so many fun things to do. That sounds nice. Yeah, but not as nice as Blueberry Pie Island. And now we can't get there. I see. Well, what could you do differently if you could try again? Uh, I guess I'd remember that I can't always do everything I want if there's someplace I need to get to on time. I understand. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. I want to go to Blueberry Pie Island. Me too. Now we know. So back we go! This time, Kate understood that if you need to get somewhere on time, sometimes you can't do everything you want. Sorry, no time for butterflies. Me oh my! Blueberry pie! I'd love to bounce with you ducks, but we've got a boat to catch. One... Kate! <laughs> Me oh my! Blueberry pie! No time for dress up today! We're going to Blueberry Pie Island! Me oh my! Blueberry pie! <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! You're right on time! I was just about to ring three bells! Can I do it? Sure! Ring it three times! All aboard! And Kid and Kate sailed off to Blueberry Pie Island at last. And they had a very, very good time.